Hello, today I would like to talk about deploying Linux applications that are made with Qt in a way that allows them to run on most Linux distributions without the need for installation. This works by bundling them with all the components the application needs to run that cannot be expected part of every target system. So to get started, let's open Qt Creator which I'm doing here. Actually my instance of Qt Creator is running from an app image which is the kind of bundle that we will create in this tutorial. So click on New Project, select a Qt Widgets application or actually to make it a little bit more complex let's take a Qt Quick application. Choose, Next, 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 Finish, here we go, press the compile button and it says error uh, when executing step make configuration is faulty so let's have a look at the settings tools options build and run no debugger no it's usually under build and run actually compilers there is no compiler installed looks like right so the Qt, no compiler, right. We have to install a compiler. For that we go to a terminal and we do sudo apt-get install C++. This is already the newest version. That's interesting. Is it GCC plus plus or something like that. Okay, it wants to install PowerPC stuff. Let's install GCC. Okay, GCC is not installed. Let's install GCC. Actually, it would be nice if I could bundle the compiler right into the Qt Creator app image. This is something I will be working on next. So let's close this thing again and retry by opening Programming Qt Creator. Let's see how it goes. Open the project again. Try to build it again. Something when executing step make. So do we have make installed? Yes we do. So why is it not working this time? What does it say here? Still no compiler can be found. That is a bit strange. Let's do manual add gcc browse user bin gcc apply ok Well this compiler stuff is really a bit annoying. Here it is. Why doesn't it use this? Apply auto-detected nothing but here it is and this is working right let's see yeah apply run needs a compiler well maybe the configuration is messed up let's do rm rf home me what was it share uh, find homey grab cute sure enough this is what I want to delete RM or F this and also this now start over again cute creator open no new project Cute quick application, next, 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 go, compile, still, <laughs> still. Why? Why is it still not working? Build and run, compilers, still no compiler detected. No compiler can produce code for this cute version. Huh. 
So what was the name of the G++ in Ubuntu? How to install G++ compiler. Let's take this one. Ah, here we go. Okay. Uh, why does it have to be so complicated? So here we finally go. This installs the compiler. Maybe I should really redo this video because so far it hasn't been so interesting. Wow. And now let's try to recompile the stuff here. It's still complaining. So exit. Remove this. Remove that. Start over again. Let's see whether it finds the compiler this time. New project, cute quick, choose, next, 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 and run. This looks better, it's at least starting to compile. Now it's complaining about cannot find LGL, that's not very helpful, but we have to install another package, and this is libgl-dev. Another round of installing, and Let's, I think this time I don't have even to restart this thing. Just go build again and the application runs. Wow, the application actually runs. So what we have here, this hello world, is a cute quick application that we just made. And uh, let's copy here the name of this, Untitled 2, copy. And now we want to package this as an app image and let's try whether this actually works. So I close the application and the first thing I need to do in order for that to work is I have to give it the correct path so that it can find the correct version of Qt that I want to bundle. So if I enter QMake here this doesn't even work, which means on my host system here there is no Qt installed. But that's not so important because I want to use a third-party version of Qt anyway, which I do like this, export path equals, and now I know that my app image is mounted at temp mount Qt creator something. Uh, here we have a 5.7 gcc64 bin directory dash um, path so like this I now have exported my path and if I run qmake this time yeah it finds qmake and if I run qmake version it says it's using Qt version 5.7.0 in the correct directory that looks good so next thing we do is we go to the Linux Deploy Qt project page on GitHub and download the Linux Deploy Qt tool, which comes as an app image. I have actually already done this, so I need to change mod this, make it executable in my download directory. Here it is, Linux Deploy Qt app image. Now I can execute the thing. And as an argument, I give it the uh, location of the application that we want to package. So I paste this in here. And now I can run it and see what happens. So it's working. It's, it's working on the application. And after some time, it's done. Now let's inspect how it looks here in my home folder. I have this built Untitled 2 thingy. And actually what has happened is it has added a lib directory. Inside this lib directory it has put a subset of Qt libraries that are required to run this application. Also it has put here a plugins directory likewise where it has put in a subset of the Qt libraries that are needed to execute this application. Now let's try to run it. Oh, actually it doesn't run yet. Why is that? Well, we have forgotten to also bundle the QML stuff. If I go back here to my home directory and check the Untitled 2 directory, there is 
QRC and QML. <clears throat> Actually those QML files they import stuff and this stuff also needs to be bundled. There is a special switch here in the Linux deploy Qt tool to do that. This switch here we have it um, is called QML dir. So what I have to do is run the same command that we run earlier with QML dir and actually put in this directory here as the QML dir. If I again run this then this time it should bundle additional stuff which I can check by going <coughs> here and as you can see it has created this QML directory where it now has put additional stuff. Now if I run the application it theoretically should run. Why doesn't it run? Let's run the application here in the terminal and let's see what's going on. So it's looking for libqt quick so5 cannot sh open no such file or directory. That's a bit strange because actually that should have been deployed here. I have no clue why it didn't do that. That's maybe a bug here in the in the tool. Let me do one more thing here. Let's add the app image command which uh, should bundle well that's in uh, no that was the wrong command. This one let's add the app image option here <coughs> which results in a little bit more being bundled. As you can see some more libraries get bundled now, namely everything we cannot reasonably expect to be part of every base system. Still working. QML directory is also still here. Plugins also still here. Now let's see, does it run? Yes, now the application runs, so it needed either two runs or the app image uh, option. Um, and what's also cool is that it has built this app image here, which actually is a single file, 26 megabytes in size, for the entire application bundled with the Qt version that's needed to run it. So this is an entirely self-contained uh, Qt application as we can see. Um, to distribute this it is sufficient to just share this file here and it will run on almost every target system. So this is what I've worked on with regards to the Qt deployment tool for Linux. Let me know what you think. I know this video is a bit longish now and it's not very polished, but still it should give you an overall impression of what's possible today.